Hi guys, this is Ken Morrow. Welcome to this channel. In this video, I provide you with an implementation example for some features for fast prototyping. This video specifically focuses on the dynamic links configuration for iOS applications. As of now, actually Google seems decided to deprecate the dynam dynamic links in the Firebase, but since many many applications use that, we will assume there will be uh, alternatives provided by them in the future. So, in my opinion, even if you are creating a new app right now, you can go for the dynamic link at the moment, then patch it when Google deprecates them. So, I will use Swift UI for the iOS app setup. I will start from a new empty project. Before we start, let me summarize what to do to achieve the dyna dynamic links for iOS app. Number one, create iOS app project. Number two, register your app in Apple Developer Console. Number three, create Firebase project and add your iOS app. Number four, enable dynamic links and create a new link at Firebase. Number five, Swift UI coding. Number six, add associated domain at Xcode. This is a rather long procedure, slightly more complicated than doing the same things in Android. However, I will go through them step by step in this video, so don't worry about it. I assume if everything goes smooth, you can implement this everything great feature within 30 minutes. So let, let's get started. So start from create iOS app, app project. First, start with an easy step, open X call and create a new project with Swift UI settings. If you build it, you will see the Hello World screen on your mobile. Number two, register your app in Apple Developer Console. So this is a little bit tedious, but in order to configure dynamic links, it is necessary to register app in the Apple Developer Console in order to get Apple Store ID. You will need this Apple Store ID by the console later to register at the Firebase to enable dynamic links. First, in order to create an app, you need an app bundle kind of identifier for your app. Once you create a bundle, you can create an app at the console, then you can tie that, just create a bundle with your app. After the app is created, the App Store ID is issued, so later you will need it. One more thing I need to grab from the Apple Developer Console is a team ID. This is the identifier for your developer profile. Click your name on the top right corner of the header at the console, then you can copy the team ID. So with this Apple Store ID and team ID, it is ready to create the Firebase Dynamic Link. So I will move on to create a Firebase project now. Create a Firebase project and add your iOS app. It takes a few minutes to Firebase to get your project ready. Once it gets ready, an iOS application should be added to the project. Here, you will download the Google Server Info.plist file and copy it into your iOS application project root. Next, fill in the Apple Store ID and Team ID that you obtain in the Apple Developer Console to tell identification to the Firebase. If this is done, it is ready to create the dynamic link for your app. Number four, enable dynamic links and create a new link at Firebase. In the Firebase console, go to engagement section on your sidebar, then hit dynamic links. Then you can enable dynamic links. Next, you need to define the domain for the dynamic links. It is possible for you to use your custom domain, but here I will use the Firebase providing domain which ends with page.link. Here I set my domain as dynamic link YouTube Camaro dot page or link. This domain must be must be unique, so set your custom string as you like. Now hit the new dynamic link to create one for your app. In this tutorial, I created the endpoint with slash test as a URL suffix. Next, set deep link URL. This is a link 
if you're accessing this deep link from PC, it directs you this deep link URL. If you don't have a URL to sell yet, just use https com slash slash example.com as I used. Next, add an iOS app with clicking open deep link in Apple app and select your registered iOS app. If you haven't set Apple Store ID nor Team ID, you are not allowed to set the application in this section. If the user does not have the app on the mobile, here you can direct them to the App Store. This is a great feature for the dynamic links. Now, skip the Android app configuration and hit the Create. You are ready to write Swift code right at the moment to accept dynamic link in your app to be opened up. So here we go. Number five, Swift UI coding. Here I will write minimum code to achieve dynamic link acceptance in your, your Swift UI application. In the content view, I just set up storage, which is the user default storage stored in your device, attached to your app for dynamic link, Re redirect it to specific screen you want to send your user to. I will create two views. One is for just home screen, and another is dynamic link screen. There is a button in the home screen that you open up, open up the deep link. If you press the button, which should direct you to the dynamic link screen. In the dynamic screen, have the button that, that reset and direct you back to the home screen. And here, your main shrug, deep link YouTube app, you need to write the open URL and you catch that URL to pass it to the handle domain link, handle dynamic link function. This function actually takes the URL component, just update your user default so that the content view will catch it and direct you to the dynamic link screen. So if you have finished this modification, you can just go to the next, the last step, add associated domain at Xcode. From Xcode sidebar, click the project name and go to signing and capabilities. Click the plus button, capabilities button, then app links, colon your domain. In my case, app links, then link YouTube can model the page or link. Just add this line. This is it. build application and click the URL, which I am testing simply from memo application that then I successfully jump to the application via dynamic link. This is for super cool. Here, if you direct to the app store and said, this application is not available in this store. I encountered this sometime. This type of message showed up, then try adding associated domain as app links question mark mode equal developer. In my case, app links dynamic link YouTube camaro dot page or link question mark mode is equal to developer to see if it can go successfully this time or not. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this and subscribe the channel. See you guys in the next video. Happy prototyping. Bye bye.